Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well in this step-by-step -step drawing I'm going to show you how to sketch the basic shapes in pencil first and then show how to draw the badger in ink. And once the pencil has been rubbed out we can then draw in all the little fancy bits and shadows that make the drawing more real. You can stop and start this video at any time by pressing the space bar and you're allowed to go back and watch it as many times as you like until you have made a drawing to be proud of. We are going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. If that's the middle of the page, we're going to start round about here and we're going to draw a circle. And when you draw in pencil, we're going to want to rub this out later, so do not press too hard because it makes it almost impossible to erase later. So we're going to want slightly curving coming down there. This, this is the snout. And then we can come back like that and then across to there. And then here we're going to want to have the nose. So there's like a, an ellipse or an oval which is going to go there. This is going to be one of the tricky bits. So from here you want to go up slightly and then we're going to dip underneath like that and come up and then into a curve at the top. Okay, get that line. And then here, we want to start just about there. And we're gonna follow that line up like that and across. We want to go slightly across like that. So this circle is gonna go slightly flat on the top. Here we're gonna have an ear. And then around here, that's gonna come around and then up again like that. It's a little kind of hook at the bottom. And then this is going to come up to here and we're going to have another ear on the top again. Little extra bits inside there. Here we need to draw an eye and that's going to be, it's not a circle, it wants to be a squash circle, an oval or an ellipse like that. Whereas this eye can be much more of a circle because that's kind of around the corner and we can have the eyeballs like that. And this is going to be coming around there and we can have the mouth there like that. So here I'm going to add a little bit of extra, this is going to be white this part here. And now we want to have a line that's going pretty well straight across like that and then around. And from about here this is going to come kind of around in a curve like that. And then this is going to be kind of the, the bottom of the fur of the body like that. And we want another curve there. And then on the bottom of these curves, we're going to put little ovals. And here we're going to go curve that way and then down and then a curve. And then we want another of those kind of ovals at the bottom. Put another oval there and that can curve up there, and that can curve up there. And then we're gonna want the tail will be like that at the back. Step two, let's ink in our badger. Now, I think what we need to do is to start with these eyes. So let's get those circled in nicely. Well, this isn't circled at all, is it? This is ellipsed. Uh, and then the eyeball is gonna be like like a, a, a big fat kind of cock, <laughs> curly, curly C, uh, a little lowercase C kind of thing there. And then we want the nose here. And they have great big snuffy noses because they want to be sniffing out worms and things as they're digging, uh, <laughs> finding stuff to eat. And then this line will come along like that. And then that will come there and up around the top into a little bit into the ear and then the ear on the top as well and then we want to shade all of this in okay now we need to have this bit which goes up like that and then we'll go across to that ear so there's a little hook up there and then kind of across to the bottom of the ear and then we want a little it inside that's going to be dark inside so the tips of the ears are white and the insides are black like that and again we want to ink all of this in hey if you got this far you obviously love drawing so make sure you subscribe to the shoe rainer drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawings thanks
Oh dear, uh, sp <laughs> spider alert. Now here we're going to come down a bit and then down a bit like that. And then we can just have kind of a mouth there like that. And we can now start putting it, make this look a little bit furry. So instead of drawing a straight line across there, we can do kind of furry lines. Again, with this line here, we can make that just a little bit kind of scribbly so it kind of looks a bit more furry. And we're going to want to follow that down to the end of the tail. Start about here and come around like that. And again, the tail will go there. And here, we want to have a kind of uh, fur and that will be kind of going off in that direction like that. Now we need to draw these legs. So I've sort of come in a little bit early there, I think. So I'm going to redo that bit there like that because under here will eventually be quite dark. <laughs> and these little pads here, here we're going to see a thumb. And then we're going to do these big claws. These are, this is what the badgers dig their sets out with. These enormous great big claws. So that will then sort of come to there and up around there like that and we can do the same here now let's start with this is going to be like the little finger and then these will be kind of bigger fingers that's the pointy finger and then you'll see a little bit of the thumb there and we can bring that kind of around like that and the back legs don't have quite such um, big claws so we can draw these little claws in there like that and sort of come up there like that and that's going to be because you've got that funny bit in the back there haven't you now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines make sure the ink is dry or else you're going to get it all smudging all over the place and now we can do all the little fancy bits and shading and kind of make it look uh, cool <laughs> so um, I'm going to kind of nearly shade these in but these ho uh, hooks they're claws um, but leave a little just a little bit of white in there like that uh, so they kind of shaded in almost but that gives it a sort of a shininess and then uh, we can just make these legs all black like that and I think if you kind of follow it around like that if you've got a bit of scribble mark in it it doesn't really mind if you kind of keep the angle uh, all in the same kind of direction like that then if you've got little bits of white and scribble in there then it just kind of makes it look like the fur doesn't it on the legs and I wasn't too worried about down here because they're quite dark underneath their throat so I'm going to kind of follow this angle and I've been quite scribbly here aren't I but I'm kind of following the angle of, of the coat and the way the fur is going to be going. And so now I can be a bit more um, sort of free and just just draw these um, little hints of fur. You don't have to draw every single hair and it's going to be much darker down here. So we can kind of put quite a lot in down here. And then it's also going to be starting to curve around at an angle so it's coming around the back there like that and it all gets a bit complicated the fur is not the easiest thing to draw so if we kind of follow the angles around like that and then again with the tail and I'm going to make that just a little bit longer there and the tail is kind of has a little kind of whitish bit at the end or lighter anyway and we can make um, that kind of fur effect in there like that we maybe add some extra little bits in there if you want and then here we maybe want to make it look like it's sort of in a woodland setting and um, this of course is a European badger in case you were wondering <laughs> and thinking hmm my badgers down the road from where I live don't look like that so this is a European badger and if we can put some little bits of grass and stuff like that maybe some leaves and things like that and then just to kind of um bring it all together i'm just going to add a little bit of shade there then if we put some shade on the ground down here 
then that is going to put the badger in his woodland setting, definitely sort of sitting, standing on the ground like that. And then we can just sort of come over there like that. And there you go, how to draw a European badger. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.